All right, everybody, we got ourselves quite a large race going on here. It is uh, the last preliminary race of the tournament. Uh, we got it's seven people in this one. A lot of the people who have already either uh, guaranteed themselves high placements or um, uh, or are just unavailable aren't in the race. So we have a, a smaller pool of people overall. Um, so it'll be interesting to see uh, how everything goes by. I don't know what happened to Vey. Vey seems to be behind by like 20 seconds. It could be stream delay maybe. Um, but yeah, we have set eight people racing with seven streams. The Swarm is in this race, but we don't um, know his perspective. He doesn't have the means to stream right now, which is allowed for the preliminary bracket. We have the replay technology, so we know what route he's taking. We know and can confirm what he's doing without necessarily seeing his uh, gameplay directly. What is Vey doing? I don't know. Is he okay? Is his controller messed up? It looks like his controller is messed up. Oh my god, that's so unfortunate. Yeah, his controller got unplugged, I think. You know, it happens. You gotta roll with the punches. It is what it is. We can't, uh, unfortunately, as much as I would love to restart a race, um, with this many people involved, you, you kind of can't really do it. On Vey's end, they should just reset. This does hurt their stats for the rest of the run, being um, having not finished the prologue fast enough, but I don't know. It's a tough call to make. I think you are technically correct because, um, yeah, when you get the weed and the roaches in the controller, um, if you don't get that joke, that's because you're not watching the live stream, twitch.tv slash dragonblitz, where you can get all the inside jokes. Um, but yeah, I think you are correct. The, the fact that you miss out on the extra stats does matter a lot. So... Um, but as of right now, it looks like the person who is in the lead, let's get him focused in on the main screen. It's Mr. Razio. He does have the wizard pondering the orb, smoking a fat blunt. That gives him a passive advantage, uh, in the, in the race, obviously. Um, you know, it, it just is what it is. Listening to Rocket Man from Elton John here in the corner. We can't listen to it because we'll get demonetized, but Razio doesn't give a frick, dude. This is what Razio looks like in real life. <laughs> Anyways, uh, has, has a slight lead. This is the Lycanthrope preset, which means we're going to be seeing a lot of these competitors going for Death Skip. We already saw it. Vay's going for it right now. In the bottom right-hand corner, gets it. So I didn't explain the, the, the Death Skip before, but it's fine. Uh, essentially... Um, the wolf movement that you start with in the Lycanthrope preset can be fast enough to get you past the cutscene with um, death. It's very similar to the Big Toss version of Death Skip, um, but instead of a Big Toss taking you through the cutscene, it's the wolf movement, um, which is really, really cool. And starting off with the uh, Shield Rod is pretty powerful. We also start with a couple of other equipment that helps increase intelligence, so spells are very powerful in this preset because of that. Um, we also start with uh, the Mystic Pendant, which increases the rate in which um, the uh, your MP regenerates. So not only does the wolf movement cost a lot less magic to perform, it's also um, your MP is regening faster. So it's very rare that you run out of magic early game in Lycanthrope. Um, you almost always have access to some decent um, options for as far as mana goes. And uh, yeah, Razio, uh, just absolutely chiefing that big weed and going fast while doing so. You love to see it. Yeah, the controller display is really cool. I, I like the Razio stream layout's really cool. Meanwhile, um, no major relics have been found. The other competitors are also slightly behind overall. Eldritch not terribly far behind. Crazy's not too far behind. And Viernos is not too far behind either. And we're seeing Gas Cloud. I saw it in the bottom corner of the screen. It's something that a lot of competitors will do. They'll look at the corner of the screen as they're going by, and you can just barely make out what the relic is. So you don't have to commit to going all the way down there um, to see whether or not you actually want that relic. And since they saw it was Gas Cloud, they're saying, I don't need it. Let's just leave. Gas Cloud's not that important. Um, speaking of skipping things, did, uh, did, did our boy Ren just skip Spirit Orb? Hmm, skipping Spirit Orb is uh, a little interesting, to say the least. Um, 
it is a gamble. You can skip whatever relic locations you want to skip in uh, randomizer races, but skipping Spirit Orb and then opting to go to Aurox's quarters is a very interesting routing idea. That's a Thrust Sword. What are you doing? Why didn't you get the Thrust? Okay, maybe the Thrust Sword doesn't matter that much. I, I guess it doesn't, but I would have gotten it. It's, it's at the very least a nice thing to have. Meanwhile, everybody else on the screen, um, except for uh, Vey, who is a little bit farther behind because of the controller issues, which is unfortunate, is opting to go to Outer Wall first. And in, oh, we saw Razio hit the doppelganger skip and Hornet also hitting doppelganger skip first try. I didn't uh, pay attention. What did Ren find? It's obviously nothing important. Um, very interesting. It was a familiar card. Yeah, so now this route's looking a little silly. Um, you know what else is a little silly? Why are they checking out her wall? It's kind of the standard to skip this check and save it for later. It's a familiar card. Yeah. Oh, but Razio's committing to opening the, the shortcut. This is like just time loss. It's just time loss. Yeah. The, the odds are that two thirds of the time, the next relic when you're in this situation is inside the library. Um, just the way that the logic ends up working out. So because of that, you usually save that check for later. Uh, the only punish is if that check is literally soul, uh, form of mist. Every other uh, progression relic, it doesn't matter, right? Because you're basically guaranteeing to go into the library anyways. So it's not like you're wasting time by checking the library unless you're absolutely crazy. Well, form of mist was the progression relic. Um, it, however, was not the progression relic at outer wall. It was instead at... Fairy Scroll, very interesting location for that. Well, on the bright side, you can full clear library now. Um, it's not necessarily in logic to do so, but you can. Um, you just need to do some wolf rising uh, by transforming into mist and then back into wolf. You gain a little bit of height each time. And if you do it with the right rhythm, you won't lose MP. So you do have to be careful of your MP here. Actually, Hornet is spending, in my mind, too much MP to be doing this. I think Razio has the right play, which is to check the, the shop first. I think checking the shop first is better. And it was Soul of Bat! Oh my god, it was a bait! Wow! Yeah, this is going to make Hornet's route look really silly. Um, the only downside is Razio didn't check fa Fairy Scroll first, and instead went to Library first. I'm very confused with the routing decisions, but it's kind of hype, and Leapstone as well. Okay, very interesting. That's two Lycanthrope um, seeds where the first relic is bat in uh, the complexity chain. Heaven Sword, oh my god. Hornet picked up a Heaven Sword. I thought it was a Chrysogram for a second, and that's Silver Ring, wow. Very interesting, and yeah, this is the downside. This is what I'm saying. Hornet used too much magic. Hornet used too much magic, and it's like, okay, you can mist through that mist gate, but now what? Yeah. You have to wait for your magic to regen for you to leave this place. And the way you have to leave, I guess it's not that bad. They have Mystic Pendant, so the time you wait to refill your magic is less. So hopefully Hornet knows how to do this. That's not enough. Yeah, you got a Mist Wolf or something. No, Hornet is choking. You need to know what to do in this scenario if you're going to force uh, early Mist um, checking this early. Yeah, this plus a Mist Wolf should be fine. Horny, no! No, this is a throw! You gotta know how to... You need to know how to Mist Wolf, right? Mist Wolf is like a core mechanic. There, he figures it out. Remembers that Mist Wolfing is a thing. There you go. Mist Wolfing is a core mechanic that you need to know for these races. A little bit of a slop, a little bit misremembering the, the, the mechanics of the game, but Hornet makes it out. And somehow, isn't terribly far behind. Razio didn't have to deal with any of those shenanigans because of the early bat. So, very stressful library, very stressful. Uh, we also have no clue what's going on with um, Hornet. No, not Hornet, sorry. Um, Swarm, the Swarm. I imagine Swarm could be struggling as well. I really wish we saw Swarm's... Um, perspective here because i feel like this is a seed that swarm would love uh being an any percent speedrunner, very comfortable with bat movement um but yeah it, it feels like 
rough that you didn't end up checking the shop, but you know, it is what it is. I don't hate the, the, the idea of not checking the shop, but not checking the shop and then not having a direct plan of how to handle mist only um, after Lester Demon was, was just a little bit rough. Leapstone was at the fairy card location. But all of those shenanigans does give Vey time to catch up, actually. Vey's not that far behind anymore. Yeah, it was Layer Zero Bat and Layer Zero Mist. This is probably the only Lycanthrope seed I have ever seen with Mist and Bat on the same layer and it both being Layer Zero. It's very interesting. Meanwhile, a lot of other players are doing similar routes. Everybody's grabbing Mist first and then checking the library. Eldritch also makes it through. Nobody's checking the shop. Except for Crazy. Okay, Crazy's checking the shop first. Again, I don't hate the idea of checking the shop first, but... Oh, that was Jewel of Open! We missed it! I'm slow and stupid. Jewel of Open was the next uh, relic. This is, um... This is weird. This is a weird seed. I don't know how I feel about this. Hornet also got the outer wall warp. I don't know why you would get the outer wall warp, personally. I feel like, uh... Also, one thing I do want to note, the um, song in the bottom here that Razio is listening to. Oh, it's gone now. I think it was giving him some powers. If you missed it, you missed it. It's fine. Just re rewind the VOD. I was making a joke. It didn't land because it switched songs, and now I feel silly. Yeah, Jewel of Open at Fire of Bat. This feels like a pretty... Ooh, meal ticket. That sucks. This feels like a pretty standard route for me, personally. Once you get bat and mist, that opens up, like, and jewel of open? So much of the castle is open to you. I wonder, will the competitors choose to go to silver ring early? Because with Mist and Jewel of Open, you can check Silver Ring. You don't need the Spike Breaker. It's possible to check it without it. Um, a save split could be... I feel like if you're going to do that save split, you save split at um, Castle Keep, not necessarily at the Chapel Entrance. Um, but yeah, maybe. Checking the Attic and all that's found is a Garnet. I think there were library cards in the shop, so for whatever reason, they go back to the... Ring of Varna Drop! What? From the books? Ren gets a ring of Varda? Oh, what a lucky luck boy. Wow. Lucky, 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 luck boy. That's pretty big, because as of right now, I haven't seen any major damage uh, available to these players. But, yeah. Oh, interesting idea. They grabbed the jewel of open and then said i i'm out and is now going to go to the caverns it seems like it's an interesting idea um at this point you're just kind of chasing complexity also power of mist is vanilla we saw uh bottom here power of mist was vanilla i don't hate the idea i think this is a good play especially since they might feel a little bit behind because of the controller issues earlier and um we still don't know if the stream is delayed or not um or if that was just like a, a the the they didn't start the run at the same time as everybody else, but yeah, it's looking a little bit. Uh, it's a solid call, like Fran is saying, that it really only fails if you don't if Merman is required, and it's in First Castle. That's the only like hard punish here. Meanwhile, Razio, I feel like is doing a more standard route where. Um, this is what I would be doing. I would warp from Castle Keep um, and then check all of the places that I missed, like Castle Entrance, Alchemy Lab, and then warp back around to Allrox's quarters, maybe. Uh, this feels like you're doing the most amount of checks as quickly as possible. There's a random Vlad, Tooth of Vlad. So that is required. Everyone's going to have to come back to the entrance, which is funny because this is a location, the, the entrance check, that I feel like some people will choose to skip. Um, so some people might just have lost the game just because of that. Hornet, on the other hand, is doing the other route that I was considering, which is Mist 
Jewel of Open. Hornet's going to go to the chapel and check what's that silver ring. This could be big. We, we pretty much see a massive split between all of these competitors right now. Everybody's in a different location. Freaking Vay's in the caverns. Razio's in the entrance. And Hornet's going to silver ring. Ooh, Opal for Vay. Interesting. Yeah, Hornet's doing this save split again. I don't think this is the best place to save split. I think you save split at um, Castle Keep. But that's just me. So we have a few locations that are all being checked at once. Ghost card found for Mr. Razio. We're going to have Vey coming up here in a second. We're going to see what's that gold ring. And it is nothing. Wow, big bait. Now, the other thing that I'm mostly curious about is what's that silver ring? Silver ring is one of the... It's what won um, Matthias uh, second place was checking Silver Ring early, realistically. So Silver Ring early could be big. Um, don't use a luck potion. You have a you have to use the elixir if you're going to use a potion. You could use spells for invincibility, but it's really hard. That's a Vlad relic. That is an early Vlad relic. This could potentially be the final Vlad for all we know. Again. This is a weird situation where if I'm in Hornet's shoes, I'm immediately assuming, okay, unless I find Spike Breaker early, this is the last Vlad, right? And for it to be your first Vlad Relic that you find gives you some information for how you want to route late game. It's one of the reasons why I think it's so important uh, as a check to do like out of logic, high complexity locations as soon as possible is because it gives you the most information and it gives you um, a very secure way to route the late game. And I think routing the late game um, around like what relics are left and then doing the math on that is like a huge skill that is one of the major difference makers between like mid-level play and high-level play uh, when it comes to the randomizer is having the information for one, so knowing where to check to get information, and two, knowing um, like what to do with that information. And as we saw, yes, we missed it, but Alchemy Lab with two Vlads. Oh, Jupiter does bring up a big, big point. Um, there is another aspect to uh, counting complexity that I did forget to mention, which is that this is minimum complexity eight. So because they found Mist and Bat layer zero, it essentially means that that kind of has to be the last Vlad Relic, right? Because how else are you going to gain complexity up to get a Vlad Relic? Like, you can't have bait um, uh, items anymore, I don't think. At one point, I did, during the previous um, tournament, I believe the stat was, if bat is layer zero, you can only have one bait relic. And theoretically, that bait relic is missed because missed was also layer zero. Unless there's some weird way that you count that I'm not aware of that allows Mist to be layer one, even though it was in a layer zero location. So I think that guarantees that every single progression item that unlocks a new location is is like guaranteed because else otherwise you can't get to the eight, eighth step. How can Mist be bait? Um, so I'm saying bait, but essentially the way that the, the game categorizes complexity chains, it's based off of the last thing that you found. So Spike Breaker, for example, is the thing that unlocks Silver Ring, not Mist, not Jewel of Open. Because as far as the game is concerned, the last thing that you found, the highest part in the chain was Spike Breaker. So Spike Breaker is the thing that unlocks it because it's expected that you already have Jewel of Open and that you already have um, Mist. Because, uh, as far as the complexity goes, Spike Breaker is going to be locked behind something that required that you had missed and required that you had Jewel of Open before that. So, as far as the randomizer is concerned, you can only get Spike Breaker if you already had missed in Jewel of Open. Therefore, missed in Jewel of Open aren't 
progressing towards the final Vlad Relic. It's the Spike Breaker that's progressing towards the final Vlad Relic. So that means that has to be the, the, the last Vlad. Wow, I honestly, in this state of mind, would not have caught that if I was in this race. So that, that is a good point. I did forget about um, the fact that one of the reasons why Bat is so powerful in speedrunning this game in general um, and why it's more rare to find um, in randomizer presets that have a high complexity minimum is because Bat by itself unlocks so many things and trivializes so many things. Like Bat is flight on its own. It's a transformation on its own. Um, and those two things alone in a lot of presets like negates um, a lot of steps in the complexity chain. It's one of the reasons why I think it's actually impossible to find layer zero bat in like anything with a 10 complexity minimum. I think it's like literally impossible. Like there's not enough complexity if you find a uh, bat layer zero. I could be wrong though. Anyways, I am getting an update here. This just in from the Twitch chat. They is skipping the Merman statue location. They has Merman statue. Where was Merman statue? It was at Scylla. Wow, again? Wait, we've had two Lycanthrope races today, both of which layer zero bat and Scylla with Merman statue? Is this perhaps not randomized? Really scary to skip with no glasses? Um, so it depends. I don't think it's that scary. I think the glasses isn't the thing you're worried about. You're worried about a random Vlad, right? What was at uh, Holy Symbol? Did they check? Did they check Holy Symbol? It doesn't look like it because they didn't get anything. Yeah, Merman can't be bait. No, you're saying they skipped Holy Symbol, the location, not Merman statue, the location. It could be Echo. Yeah, the, the seed assumes that Echo is required, though. They skipped using the merman statue. That's weird. That's weird to me. I mean, I understand prioritizing the, the spike breaker location, but... Okay, now I understand why you guys are... Con I was confused. I thought you meant the merman statue location itself. Because merman statue, the location, people skip that all the time. I, I won a tournament by skipping that location, basically. Well... It's looking likely that it's Echo, actually. It's looking very likely that it's Echo and that glasses are vanilla? It's looking very likely that that's Echo. What else could it be? It has to be Echo, actually. Because it can't be anything else. It has to be Echo. And glasses have to be vanilla. And Spike Breaker has to be in the second castle? It is so weird to have this much available this early on because you you can through process of elimination i think we now have the information that merman statue leads to echo at holy symbol what is razio doing razio oh merman statue was vanilla you guys said it was at scylla oh could also be rings equals spike breaker and holy symbol is glasses no it can't there's not there's not enough uh complexity if, the, if it goes that way jupiter because we know the last flat relic has to be um at silver ring so we know the second to last relic has to be spike breaker so spike breaker has to be um the, the next thing that's locked for these players, and the only thing that's locked for these players is the second castle. So 
So Razio is... Okay, now I understand the picture. This whole time, I thought Scylla had Merman. And I thought that the Merman location was the one getting skipped. No, it's... The Merman statue is vanilla. And the holy symbol location will be Echo. Very interesting. Hornet, by the way, did Silver Ring. Early. And it seems to be... Ren also did Silver Ring early. Eldritch also did Silver Ring early. So because of that... And they all have three relics. Very interesting. Um, this is going to come down to... Glasses? I don't think we have seen a fourth random Vlad in the first castle, right? But not everybody has checked everything. Like, Vey is skipping so much. I think Vey just skipped... They skipped um, Grand Floon there, right? So Grand Floon could be a random Vlad. We don't know. Is there any other locations we haven't seen yet? Did we see Sword Card? No, Vey is great for not checking. Oh, Vey might backtrack to it, though. There's a non-zero chance Vey backtracks all the way. No, Vey's skipping. Okay, this is actually a good setup for Vey. Vey needs to warp to entrance, do Alchemy Lab stuff. Um, Castle Entrance itself also has a uh, Vlad Relic, so that has to be checked. I wonder if Vey is on a, a rampage to just skip everything because they had a rough start with the controller issues. That would be really unfortunate. No, goes to Castle Entrance. Okay, th this is... As long as they do the actual Castle Entrance check, Vey is on a really good route, actually. Because Vey is going to minimize the number of, ba like, how much backtracking. Like, everybody who did All Rocks' quarters is in trouble. Uh-oh. And that's GG's. Vey loses the race. Wow. <laughs> you know, I said it at the beginning of the race. Some people skip the entrance check. And you know, you can only skip so much, guys. You can only skip so much. They already did entrance? Wait, when? When going to Mermanth? Never mind. I'm I'm a liar. Rewind. Uh, Vey is gonna win. I'm I'm sorry, guys. It's been a long day. I'm really tired. You know what? I'm just lying. I'm just lying on on stream. I'm just lying for the people watching at home on YouTube. I'm just lying. I'm hungry. I'm sleepy. It's also, to be fair, it's also harder for me to follow because everybody's doing a different route. Everyone's doing a different route. And I'm trying to... The only thing we haven't seen, I think, is Grand Falloon? I also wasn't paying attention when Razio went down. Oh, here's Grand Falloon. Okay. Oh, there was a Marcel over there, too. I wonder if... Uh, He's going to grab it on the way out, maybe? Grand Floon was nothing? Oh, so they already checked Grand Floon then? Gotcha. Yeah, you could actually think of the complexity as a fetch quest. It's a, a fetch quest with randomized... Um, steps you can complexity is basically a randomized fetch quest i think that's actually a good way uh, to describe it if you've ever done a fetch quest in like a mmo or something skull shield is funny i do like skull shield i'm trying to think does razios Ooh, spirit orb razio i think just kind of got unlucky because Razio checked the holy symbol location and checked Grand Flume, both of which were nothing. The only bright side is that Razio will be able to combine um, the holy glasses location along with the um, all rock stuff and silver ring 
all back to back to back, which could be quite good. I can see a world where that's really good. Uh, meanwhile, I think Vey is actually low-key crushing here. The only downside is Vey hasn't been to Castle Keep. This is glasses, guaranteed. Vey hasn't been to Castle Keep yet, so Vey will likely go through all Rox's quarters to get there. It'll probably be all Rox's quarters into Chapel, grab the Silver Ring on the way, then go to Castle Keep, and then just go to the second castle. Yeah, this is actually, funny enough, Vey ended up finding an insane route. They ended up finding an insane route. They also did do all rocks, or sorry, um, Grand Flume before. So as of right now, Vey hasn't skipped anything except for the Merman statue location. So... Sorry, the Holy Symbol location. I keep messing it up. They skipped the Holy Symbol location, which we know was Echo. So it comes down to who gets baited, and a lot of people are going to get baited. That's that's absolutely insane. How many people are going to get baited by this? It's really unfortunate. He has Masamune. Yeah, Masamune is like one of the best swords in the game. I don't know how Vey feels about using Masamune, though. Yeah, complexity is just a system that is designed to keep the randomizer from... Like, it's just a different way to play through the randomizer. It, it makes the game feel a little bit more like in, it's how it's intended to be played. Because uh, with something with zero complexity, you're dealing with um, relics that can be essentially randomly distributed. Um, uh, except without soft locks, because the, the in-game logic is different from complexity. The in-game logic prevents soft locks, but complexity means that for example, you don't find holy glasses and then all five Vlad relics like all right next to each other and then beat the game in like five minutes. Um, that's something that can theoretically happen uh, with no complexity, but with complexity, that cannot happen, meaning that the time it takes to finish a randomizer seed that has complexity is a little bit more normalized. At least the number of steps that you need to do to complete the, the randomizer are normalized. Uh, this randomizer, even without uh, complexity, cannot softlock. But it does make progression logic feel like you're actually progressing. That's that's what complexity is designed to do. It's, it's meant to make your progression items feel like actual progression because they unlock new stuff that actually matters, as opposed to it just being random. Who is the genius that invented the Soten randomizer? You can go to Soten.io and find out. Uh, Wild Mouse is their name. And all of their info is on the randomizer website. Razio's getting glasses right now. Interesting, actually. Razio's getting glasses right now. Hornet got baited. I think Ren also got baited. They need to do all Rox's quarters. I think Razio also has to do all Rox's quarters. Yeah, Mouse is great. I've gotten to hang out with Mouse a few times. He's really, really nice. Interesting. I'm trying to think, like, is there a way for Razio to still be in the lead? I just feel like the time save from Vey skipping the backtrack to Holy Symbol is just so big. But I also don't remember if Razio has done any of all rocks. Let's see here. Crazy needs glasses. Eldritch is on his way to get glasses. We don't know if Eldritch... No, Eldritch is done at the very least Silver Ring. And Vernos seems to be... In the caverns without Heart of Vlad... 
and is getting baited by the Echo. Unfortunate. A lot of people, I think everybody has gotten baited except for Vey, right? Everyone we've seen seems to have gotten baited. Um, Crazy could get baited, we don't know. And Eldritch didn't get baited because they skipped Merman Statue, actually. Unless they safe split it away. Eldritch never grabbed Merman Statue. So Eldritch might have avoided the bait by doing the extra skip. This is why Merman Skip is so good. Merman Skip skipped two useless relics in this seed. That's actually kind of big for Eldritch. And if Eldritch has already done Alchemy or um, Allrox's quarters, Eldritch low-key might be in a really good spot. The creature one of Castle One, yeah. Or the creature of Castle One. Jeez, I can't read. I can't. I, I, I need to go to bed. Nah, I don't think it's enough. I think Vey is still kind of crushing here. Because Vey is about to get the last Vlad Relic and then just go to the second. Oh, but Vey has to do all of the checks in Castle Keep. That could slow him down. Also spending 10 million years, just equip the Marsil, I guess. Or the Potion? What are you doing? Do you not have a mana prison? What's going on? Vey? You could use the wolf charge. I feel like the wolf charge is easier, but... Okay. Not bad, not bad. Vey figures it out. Spending this much time in the menu is definitely going to hurt. To be fair, Vey is starting from, like, a pretty large deficit with the controller issues early on. Lost about a minute. But now is kind of in the lead in this weird way. Library card since when? You're telling me Ren has a library card... And a Varda? Were those both random drops or something? We weren't paying attention. Uh-oh. That means they can buy more library cards, by the way. Unless somebody else finds a library card. To be fair, library cards don't matter that much because First Castle is getting first full cleared anyways. So... Interesting. Uh-oh. This is pretty much a a direct race. Razio getting the, the final Vlad Relic now. Vey, on the other hand, just grabbed the final Vlad Relic and is making their way to Castle Keep. However, I'm 90% sure Razio has already done Castle Keep, which means it's going to be a race between these two to see who ends up in the first, uh, the second castle first. Maybe he had the money? Maybe. It's very possible that he had the money to buy it in the first place with, like, a random drop. And Eldritch is on his way, possibly to Castle Keep. We don't know yet. If he warps from All Rocks' quarters to Castle Keep, that would be big. Um, but I think he's still f slightly behind. He would need to move, like, lightning speed, world record speed. Yeah, because Vey's already there. And Razio's on his way. It's actually going to be close. It's going to be close. Razio's movement's actually, like, pretty darn good, all things considered. But also, everybody has gotten really good at this game. I mean, the randomizer has been being played for some people for, like, many, many years at this point. Like, almost four years now? Maybe even more? I don't even remember. Um, so some people just have, like, insane amounts of uh, just time put into the game, which is good. Okay, where's Razio going? Is he going straight there to the second castle? If so, I think he has the lead. Yeah, he's full cleared. Razio opened his map, and he's full cleared the first castle, and he's going to be the first into the second castle at this rate. There it is. He just needs to get out of the menu. He has Yasutsuna in hand. Hopefully he doesn't take too much damage. Uh-oh. Okay. And he does it. I was worried for a second that he messed up the input, but he didn't. Eldritch! Eldritch is not that far behind! He messes up his movement, but he's about to enter the second castle. Hold on. Let's get Eldritch on... Let's do a quick five-way here, because things are very interesting right now. 
Let's do a quick five way. Come on, come on, come on, load. Razio enters second castle. Vey is doing item checks. Eldritch enters second castle right behind. Hornet's about to grab glasses. And Ren just got glasses and library cards. Out. But at this point, Razio is the farthest ahead. What is the... What's Razio's current points standing? Because if Razio wins this... That boosts him up a decent amount. That gets him into the... the does that get him in contention to top four? We also have no clue what Swarm is doing, by the way. For all we know, Swarm has already finished the game. <laughs> Actually, he hasn't, according to the the what we know. He hasn't finished it. Because at this point, what really matters is a top four spot. So it'll be interesting to see. It'll be interesting to see. I think Razio is pretty safely going to be in the top 12, so make it into final bracket. The only people that have the potential to do, like, major damage here is, from my understanding, they is on the verge of elimination from the final bracket. Before this race, they were tied, actually, with Ren, which is right here. Ren has finished in the last race. Uh, it was sixth. So is it getting three points total? So as long as they get fifth place or higher in this race and outplaces Ren, they will make it into the final bracket and Ren will not. So these two are actually battling it out for the final bracket spot. Very interesting. Also, we found Medusa with the ring. And again, Razio is just, just ahead. He's just ahead. Eldritch going left side. Oh, the one time where the left side gambit may actually still pay off. Mind you, there was a race where the left side gambit was still appropriate. At this point, Eldritch will only win the left side gambit, assuming that Gallimoth has a Vlad Relic. It has to be Gallimoth into warp back to the beginning of the second castle into Medusa, yeah. It's a it's it's possible. It's also possible that Eldritch might find a Vlad Relic and then warp back at like death maybe? The only downside, this is why left side is so scary because Eldritch barely, barely had enough mana to make it through um, with all those wing smashes. It, you need good wing smash control. You need a, a lot of MP to make it worth it. Um, oh my God. No, don't roll. Okay. Creature swings the hammer. Don't roll. Oh no. He is rolling, 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 but Eldritch finishes in time. Ah! Left side is unfortunately, in this scenario, not the best side. Razio finds two Vlad Relics back-to-back. -back. Worst case scenario, it's just Medusa and Akhmadon. Uh, every left side believer is in shambles right now. Uh, is there mana prisms? Razio seemed to have had a mana prism. It's gonna climb up the shaft. No, it wasn't a mana prism, it was just a potion. Just kidding, I lied. Oh, poor Eldritch. Oh no! Vey, this was your chance to make it into final bracket! And Vey does the left side gambit as well! Oh no. Oh no. The question is now.
We know Razio's on his way to finish the game. But Swarm, however, has yet to finish the game. I'm curious as to what goes on with Swarm. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of a, a little, little... Do this. Do this. Put, put the Swarm up real quick right there. Because I want to see if Swarm finishes first or if Razio does. After this, I will check the, the, the points totals to see who's even in contention now. Because at this point, you kind of just want to make it to final bracket. If you can make it to the final bracket, you have the chance to win. You just have to win all of your matches, obviously. Um, and it is randomizer. Randomizer 1v1s can be won by making big, outrageous gambles like left side and all that fun stuff. So, who knows? Who knows? Meanwhile, what's it going to be? It's looking kind of close between Razio and Swarm right now. Meanwhile, Ren is about to find the last Vlad Relic as well, along with Hornet. It's going to be a close race between Hornet and Ren after this, but we need to know what's going on with Swarm. Alucard Shield since when? I didn't know there was an Alucard Shield. I'm going to be honest, I was barely paying attention. Razio has Alucard Shield. That could be the deciding factor. Swarm needs to finish in like the next 30 seconds, maybe even less. It was a drop? Bruh. That's, that's crazy. That's wild. The 1v1s are also going to be insane, by the way. I'm so excited for the final bracket. I think this is a Razio W. There it is. Razio finishes before Swarm. GG's. And now it's a pretty tight race between Ren and Refined Hornet. And neither of these players, Vernos or Crazy, have entered the second castle yet. They're making their way there. We got glasses for Vernos, and Crazy is probably on his way to get glasses. Not bad, not bad. Wow, GG is Razio. I would consider that kind of an upset. Oh, I would consider that kind of an upset, personally. Not to say that I am upset, but... Like, logistically, that's kind of an upset, right? Swarm still hasn't finished, by the way. Oh, it's so close. Hornet and Ren are literally in the same room. We have no clue what's going on with Swarm. Let's get Swarm down here, actually. What if Swarm went left side? No, this is why I wish he was streaming. What if he went left side? Oh my God. Hornet is first, Ren. I'll do it like this, it's fine. This is the only way for it to make sense. Hornet was first, Ren right behind him. It's going to come down to damage on the final fight as well as a little bit of movement. Still no word what's going on with Swarm. I really had a feeling that Swarm would do well on a race like this unless he second-guessed himself. Oh, no. You can't be saving the game! You can't be saving the game when you have the potential to get second place. You can't save the game. Hornet's going to steal this. Ren was definitely ahead for a little while there, but I think Hornet is going to steal this. Still no idea what's going on with Swarm. That's the Asafune or the... No, that's the Masamune. Yeah, Masamune is broken as heck. What is Ren using? What is Ren using as a weapon? What happened to these guys? You just played well, Razio. What do you mean what happened? Also left side, but you were still in the lead. You were the you were out of all the perspectives we watched, you were just the fastest. Just straight up. You have Yatsusuna and you saved the game? No. 
You had the potential to get second place, and you had a Yasasuna in your inventory, and you're like, I'm going to go save the game. How? It's like one of the best weapons in the game. You can move while you attack the whole time. It can one cycle Dragon Shaft so easily. Hornet doesn't one cycle though. Oh no. He's going to kill. Yeah, there it is. Barely doesn't one cycle. Oh, Swarm sniped it. Wait. Literally tied. What? Huh? What? From the top ropes, no one knows what's going on. Uh, We're going to have to wait for a replay, I think. I think we're going to have to wait on the replay to know what's going on. Because we're going we're gonna to have to wait on the replay. We can't frame count. That's the problem. Swarm didn't stream. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We're, we're going to we're going to put them side by side and we're going to after this race, we're going to do the, the replays. We're going to see them. Oh, man. That's crazy. Everybody finishing around the same time. Let's get everybody together here. I think we are going to have to wait until the race is finished before we can see the replays, right? Eldritch forfeits? No. Why? Oh, just because you did the left side gambit, you forfeit? Oh, no. Man, that's unfortunate. I don't know. I wouldn't have forfeited. You can still get some points, I guess. I guess it depends on their placements, because that is the downside of doing preliminary matches like this, where maybe Eldritch doesn't have a chance anymore. Uh, I didn't take a look at the points placements, so it's very possible that Eldritch just doesn't have a chance of making it uh, any higher. It's very possible. Where's Eldritch sitting? No, I feel like that was a throw, Eldritch. I feel like that was a throw. 11 points. You could be on the chopping block here. 11 points? He might have just thrown his chance into the final bracket. He only has 11 points. Meanwhile, Ren and Vey are both like two points behind him. And they're both they're going to get they're both going to get more points than him. Wait. So Eldritch is getting one point, no matter what. Ren is getting, how many here? Eight, seven, six, five more points. So Vey needs three points, which means he needs to finish either next or after that. He basically cannot finish seventh. If Vey finishes above seventh place, he's making it into the final bracket and Eldritch gets gets out of the final bracket. If they wants to make it into the final bracket, they needs to beat Crazy Four Blades in this race. After going left side, Crazy's going right side. And they is struggling versus Galmoth right now. You know, I, you know, I didn't think it would come down to this. Because Eldritch Tribute. forfeited. You steal men's souls and make them your slaves. Terra Juice, my job doesn't let me have free time. I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm happy that you're here. Thank you for the tier three. I really do appreciate it. Oh my God. Now, there is a world. They need to... I don't think it's happening. I think unless Crazy dies and then also forfeits. Wait, did they forfeit? When was the last time he saved? He forfeited. That's GG's. That was Vey's chance into the final bracket. Eldritch is safe. Tribute. 
you wow. steal men's souls and make them your slaves. Huh? Did, did you put an extra zero on that, bud? Well... I had to get your first place back. Are we doing blindfolded Soden now? Oh, I have to do blindfolded Soden now? I didn't think anyone was going to gift subs. I don't want to do blind... Oh... Happy September, everybody. <laughs> it's fine. I've been meaning to do blindfolded Soten for a long time. So I already talked about it earlier. We're going to do a blindfolded Soten stream where I have chat give me text-to-speech info about where I'm at, and I'll try and beat the game blindfolded that way. And then after that, we're going to do a um, an actual uh, blindfolded speedrun. Regardless, I think this is... I think Viernos was going to win anyways, actually. So I think, to be fair, I don't think that forfeit mattered from Vey. I think Vey wasn't going to make it. Because Viernos uh, just kind of snuck up in the end here. What a wild race. Um, we're going to tabulate the points. If there are any ties, we'll figure out a tie-breaking system. Um, I might do, to do any tie breaks, I'll do like, we could do best of one boss rush. <laughs> a 1v1 best of one boss rush to, to as a tiebreaker, just as a meme. I think that'd be fun. Um, we'll see. Once the race is over, we do need to get the, the replays, though. Once the race is over, we'll get the replays. So... Once Crazy finishes the game, we'll have the replays and we'll get to see um, Hornet versus Swarm. Crazy race, though. Absolutely wild race. Swarm, did you go left side by any chance or? Tribute. You steal uh, thank you for the gifted Terrazio, Melee fanboy. The final bracket is best of three. The final bracket is best of three uh, single elimination. And now we're just waiting on Crazy to finish so we can watch the replays. The replays will be happening. I'm not going to end until we see those replays. I need to know what happened. Just playing safe and bad. Fair enough. This seed did have a couple of weird bait things. I didn't notice it at the time. But because Bat and Mist were both layer zero, it meant that there were zero bait relics um however what ended up actually being bait was merman statue into echo which was just wild that that ended up being a thing yeah because this is a thing about lycanthrope because lycanthrope is minimum eight um the math works out that if soul of bat is layer zero in lycanthrope you cannot get to eight complexity unless every single relic is required in the chain, except for one. And they found the one relic that couldn't be required immediately afterwards, which was uh, the mist. So, thought holy symbol was going to be glasses. Yeah, it was a 50 50. It was either Tribute. glasses were Echo or Echo was that glasses. So, uh, is that Jebiris? Is maybe how I say that? I'm sorry if I butchered that. But regardless, thank you for the sub. I really appreciate it. This has probably been the most subs I've gotten in a single stream in almost a year. Probably over a year. Probably since my birthday. All the way back in February. This has been a crazy day. I don't know where. September goes crazy, I guess. All of a sudden, you tell people subs are 25% off. Everyone goes crazy. I think at the end of the month, they're doing 50% off subs. For like three days, maybe? I don't remember. It goes crazy. What can I say? September, baby. Um, we have to do blindfolded Soden, and we have to do all Tribute. achievements. You steal men's souls and make them your slaves. Reinsgard, thank you for the five gifted, as well as the prime for Casbolt. I appreciate everybody supporting the channel. Tribute. It's been crazy. You what can I say? Men's souls and make them your slaves. Yo, 520, blaze it. Am I right, fellas? 
It's hard to say in English. It's understandable. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. One of these days, my... I need to get my... Um, in this. Thank you for the 100 Gwen and Brave. The double 100 uh, uh, bits. Um, I need to get Portuguese lessons from my sister-in-law one of these days. Or I should just get my sister-in-law on stream. So that way she can translate for me. Because <laughs> uh, my sister-in-law is from Brazil. She is Brazilian. I'm interested in this. I am interested in this. Thank you for the 100 bits. Oh, my goodness. Um, no, crazy. <laughs> Shaft. We've been shafted. Oh, no. Oh, no. Did he save? He did save? Wow. All right. I want to see the replay. Come on, crazy. Go faster. Hurry up. Hurry up. <laughs> Come on. Tribute. Barnabas Use with the five gifted as well. Oh, my goodness. And make them your slaves. September is absolutely wild. Insano style. Thank you, guys. I, I appreciate all the support. This has been a crazy fun stream. I'm, I'm not going to lie. This is one of the most fun streams I've had in a while. I am happy. I loved the preliminary race format with all of the big races, but I am so excited to see one versus one best of three with counter picking. I'm also excited to get uh, other commentators in on these races as well. It's not going to just be me for the final bracket. We'll see if I can get Bobby involved. Uh, we'll see if like any of the other people who are in the tournament who aren't currently in that race i can also get them to hop in on the um the to help with commentary i think it's gonna be a lot of fun the 1v1 races is really where the um where i think that symphony of the night races are really really interesting um personally the big races are really cool but it is hard to keep track of absolutely everything that's going on but 1v1s it's like you get to see everything and it's really really nice dragon blitz daily i'll, I'll give him a call we'll see if db daily is uh, available um Oh, no. Crazy, come on. Come on, brother. Please finish so I can see what happened between Swarm and, uh, and Hornet. Their team name would be Swarm of Hornets? A Swarm of Hornets, maybe? Come on. <gasps> okay. Please fax me good vibes. Oh, man. Fran, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope nothing but the best. Mantis Lords? Brother, what do you think this is? Had fun watching those, but never lucky enough to see you online here. Well, I'm, I'm glad you made it, uh, Kazbald. I know catching live streams is, is can be a chore. That's why, the, uh, that's why the YouTube is there to upload stuff so people can watch it at their own leisure. So, no, let him take his time. Let him take his time. Let him cook chat. He needs, he needs the soup. He needs the miso soup. Let him soup. Yeah, attack potion for sure. Don't forget the soup. Don't forget the soup, please. Come on, soup for good luck. Come on, soup for good luck. Use the Masamune. It's the, it's like easily the top three. Okay, Yasasuna is also good. It's fine. Yasasuna should one cycle here. Masamune is like top three best weapons in the game. Yasasuna might do better DPS total on Dracula because it's a multi-hit. And if you increase the, the stats enough, it's good, but... Come on, come on. You can one cycle. You can one cycle. I believe. I believe. Oh, no. It was close. Come on. There it is. We did it. Let's go. Where are the replays? When do the replays generate again? Do we have to wait for everybody to submit them? Or do they generate automatically now? Any knowers in the chat? If we don't get this replay, I will poop. I will poop myself. <gasps> oh. 
There it is. There it is. Hold, everybody hold. I'm going to get the replay set up here in just a second. And we're going to see what ended up happening. Give me just one second. So this is the replay. Red should be... The color red should be um, Swarm. And Hornet is blue. Here it is. Let's see it. It seems like there was a tie for second. Pretty much neck and neck the entire time. They're both doing the same exact route, too. Hornet with a small lead early on. This is cool. Shoutouts to Talik. This is Talik, um, Talik's project. The replays and the replay system is all him. Uh, this is a beautiful thing that many games would kill to have. Ooh, Swarm with a big lead here. But then opts to go a different way. Hornet goes the other way. I also am unsure if this is going to matter for placements. So if it ends up not mattering for placements, I'll give them both second place points. Most likely. Because I'm pretty sure the replay functionality is pretty accurate. But... Oh, did you mess up Silver Ring Swarm? Did you get bullied in the Silver Ring hallway? All right, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, what happened here? They sync up getting glasses, pretty much. Wow. Even though they took completely different routes through the castle, they end up syncing up. It looks like they end up checking all the same things as well. With Swarm slightly ahead, Hornet is literally right behind. From here, I imagine they take the same exact route. Oh, but Hornet with a small lead going into the second castle bit. Maybe it's a difference in damage. They're, they're, pay they're trading back and forth. Who's ahead? It looks like Swarm... Ooh. Okay, Hornet enters the fight first. Oh, Hornet wins. Yeah. No, Hornet wins. We saw it at the very end there. I think, right? No, that's not winning. That's just entering the boss fight. I'm stupid. So Hornet was first into the boss fight. Wait, then who won? Huh? They both win. I don't know. I'll figure this out later. Anyways, thanks for watching YouTube. I have no clue how to figure that out. I'll figure it out. I'll ask Talik. Um, final bracket starting soon. Uh, watch on twitch.tv slash dragonblitz. Subscribe for more content. I'll see you later, YouTube. Have a good one. Bye-bye.